Hi, I'm Steve Yoon, and this is Ben Connor, and we're with YGE ESEs. We're coming to you to talk about the 205 and the 155 Sapphire. So I'll start with the 155 since I have the mic in my hand. And this is a 4 to 8S low voltage ESE. It's 155 amp continuous with 250 amp burst. It has a 5 to 8.4 volt BEC and 12 amp continuous to 25 amp burst BEC. So it can take whatever servos you're, you know, whatever power hungry servos you got, this ESC and BEC in there can take it. I'm gonna pass it to Ben now, and he's gonna talk about the 205. Thanks, Steve. So the YGE205, this is actually the black edition YGE205, can handle from 6 to 14S, 205 amps continuous to 270 amps burst, features anti-spark, auto timing, and fully integrates with the V-Bar Neo control along with several others and provides telemetry to what it doesn't integrate with. Features a 12 amp continuous to 30 amp burst BEC. So it's got all the power. And something else I like about this too is all the wiring for the batteries the motor and even the telemetry BEC leads are all copper, which gives you the ability to have a smaller wire size and keep things a little bit lighter. These speed controllers all come with uh, fans, mm -hmm. so there'll be a fan in the box with it in case you need it. They usually come down ice cold, but... And also, you want to talk about the ferret ring? There's a a ferret wing that comes with it. So with all ESCs, they do also come with a ferret wing that you want to basically, I don't have it on this one, but on the 205s. And this will just kind of eliminate any noise in the line so you have a clean signal coming from your flybrush unit to your ESC. Um, this, because of, you know, these wires are running so close to these magnets and it can produce a lot of noise in the line and this kind of takes care of that for you. So and some other new features that are on there, um, I think are, so, this is also, I, I do want to say that this is also, um, has full telemetry. All of the new YGE ESCs have full telemetry um, with most of your, most of your uh, common fly browse units. Um, they, they do uh, FR so Sky. FR Sky, the hot um, Gropner. Gropner, and obviously they do Neo, which is great um, for Futaba. all the, they do Futaba, but I think Futaba you need a, a sensor for the, yeah, you do need a sensor for on the Futaba side, but it is ready to go for Futaba, so that's good to know. Yes, even V Patrol Classic, yes, sir. So, okay. Um, oh, the the one one feature that that always stood out to me for the YGE is the overcurrent yes. limitation. This is the it best is feature. it is not a it is a it's sort of a protection, but it's more of a limitation. So in this software, every every ESC comes preset to a number that YGE has determined that to be a safe value. For instance, the 205 is 256 amps. And once you hit 256 amps, it will not give you any more, but it will not shut down. The only way you're gonna shut it down is if you thermal overload it or if it loses signal. But it's, it, that, I think that gets a little bit misunderstood sometimes, but it just won't give you any more power than that, which I like. Yeah, just talking about that overcurrent um, feature is that, you know, the, the other brands of ESCs handle overcurrent by, if it overcurrents, it gives you a warning and will maybe do a low voltage cut. So it kind of tells you, hey, you know, you hit overcurrent, you're going to damage the ESC. YG takes a little bit different sense to it, where they just, we're going to give you, this is the amount that we can support continuously and that's the limit that it gives you, and it just stays there. So you can pretty much run the limit until your battery runs out and hit low voltage if you wanted to, if you're that aggressive pilot. But for, for our experiences, I think um, we've, you know, I've barely ever hit anything over 220 on this. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure if you ever hit anything above. 255. 255 is yeah. as high as I've got. You know, so it's even hard to even hit those upper limits where it will hold, it will literally just hold that current all day long until your batteries run out. So that's a really neat feature that I think other ESCs don't provide that YG is special and stands out for. You want to talk about the 
auto rotation bailout, how it works on the YGE. So YGE, up until very recently, their auto rotation bailout was the motor continued to spin at a very, very low RPM. So it, it works, the easiest way to reference is it worked like a nitro. It would idle to a sense. Motor idle, motor idle. yeah. So motor idle. Uh, it, it works. It works like a like a nitro. It'll come down to whatever you set, 10, 15 percent. As long as you get it underneath, I believe it's 35 percent, then it'll go into an idle, and the motor will continue to spin. Their logic behind that was it is easier to to accelerate a spinning motor than a stopped motor. Draw less current. Too. Draw less current. Less load on the on the mechanical system and less load on the on the electrical system. Very recently, they introduced a software update for mainly targeted at F3C flyers, where the motor they could shut off completely and allow you to do a, a true auto, but still have the bailout function of, of rapid acceleration. If you drop it to zero, it's still going to reset, but that firmware can be installed and that functionality can be selected from the USB uh, interface cannot do it from a radio you have to use the USB interface to do that exciting things coming okay well thank you again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Bill Ann's YouTube channel smash the like button and push that notification bell all right thanks everyone take care Did you meet Ben yesterday? Ben Connor. Ben Connor. Ben Connor. <laughs> Where's your mother? Sarah. Sarah. I went to kill. I mean, I went to see her. <laughs> <laughs>